I know you guys might need help to reaching the end of the South Pole, so I'm just going to be showing you guys how to get to it. Just follow me. But, um, yeah, follow exactly what I do, I guess. This is for people with zero expeditions, or they just want to go the beginner way, which is where you don't have any expeditions. So, just follow me. So... You can get a hat. That's about the only thing you need. You can get everything. Just isn't required. I'd recommend only getting a hat. But, yeah, so just get a hat. It doesn't matter what hat you get. Every single hat is the same. But, for the sake of it, I'm just gonna get all of them. And that's the only stuff you need. Um, if you guys have 99 Robux, you also can get the Storm Goggles. But they're only going to be used for the, the thunderstorm. Because that's the only thing that blocks. But yeah, so just follow what I do. So you just want to jump on these. Do your thing. You can put the mask and goggles on. And then the light, you can. You don't have to. But you want to make sure you have the light on in the night though. So then you can see. So yeah, just follow me. Um, um. See you when I get to camp two. I mean one. Okay. Bye. Like I said, I'm only gonna be going the way of zero expeditions. I'm not gonna be doing any of the advanced paths, but I might do that tomorrow or on Friday. And it's gonna be using all the advanced paths. So yeah. And then I'll also have time marks so you guys can see it. So yeah, that's the royal tent. And then instead you guys can go over here. Which isn't a real scent, but the day this video uploads, you will be able to see the royal scent the day after this video uploads. But you guys just want to jump. It's not that hard. I mean, it's probably going to be hard for lower end devices because you could be lagging, but that's fine. I have a lower end device and I still play it. But I go the other way, because it's a lower end device. But yeah, and then you just want to jump here, and then just go up. And then if you have storm goggles, you might think that they'll block the wind, but sadly they don't. Which is really dumb, personally. So you just want to go up, follow me, make sure to drink water, um, so you can be hydrated, but, how did I lose 1 HP? That's fine. It doesn't matter if you guys lose health, because you could get an, a search and rescue, plus you have 3 lives, so, you should be good. And you want to go on this ladder this way so you don't fall so you, yeah so you can actually go up I went on the real edge so it wouldn't let me climb up that well but still was able to climb up and then these ropes some people think that um, on them there only can be one person but I've done it with like three people on it and it hasn't fall fell so yeah and you guys just want to make your way up here, and what do you know? We're already almost at Camp 1. Wow! Also, if you guys get the Search and Rescue Game Pass for reaching the South Pole, because you're going to use the helicopter, I don't recommend it. Because it won't give you the... It won't complete it. And I only know that based off of watching someone. But I know it doesn't work, because otherwise the game pass would be way more expensive, so. 
And you'd also see search and rescue people farming that for expeditions. But since it is patched, you could say, it you can't do it. So yeah, and then if you were following me, we're already up here. And make sure to go on the sides for this. If you don't go on the sides, you're going to fail. And then you have to jump on this edge. If you don't jump on the edge, you'll fall. Or you'll barely clutch it, I guess. But this, you have to be on the edge. See? But if you fall off, you might want to try to climb up. You can't. You have to go up this way and redo the whole thing. I just recommend getting on the edges so it's easier. Yeah. And we're already at Camp 2. 25 coins richer. And then, once you reach the camp, you guys want to get everything to 100 except health. I mean, unless your health is miserable, and then you will want to get everything back, but, yeah. And then, here we go. I just made this video because there's a ton of people that are trying to finish, but they can't. And it's most of the time because they're doing something wrong, because I'm typically with those people, helping them, even though I don't have the guide game pass. But, yeah, so, just watch this. You might have gotten this video from me if I play the game with you. And then you could probably watch it and then do it. But yeah, just make sure to jump on the edges on basically everything. And you'll be good. And then you want to go up this way. You don't want to go over there. And then, as you can see, it's nighttime now, which is why I had the light. And then you can get the flashlight if you want. I don't have it, but I'm pretty sure it's worth it. Um, on Saturday or Sunday, I will upload a video of showcasing most of the game passes. I won't be showcasing the self-explanatory ones or the not-so-good ones, such as the backpack color changer. Because you don't need to change your backpack color. I'm basically just going to be showcasing the helpful game passes. Because the last time it was showcased was a year ago. And that is out of date now. So, yeah. And then if you guys want to go the abandoned path, it's really risky. And it gives you nothing extra. So I don't recommend going this way. But I'll show you a way for either. So, let's go on the safe path, path, work, path, first, <laughs> so then you guys can go the easier way, if that's what you want, and then, just like that, and then, you just want to jump here, and then go here, and then boom, and then now I'll show you guys the abandoned way. Okay guys, here's the abandoned way. So you guys just want to go this path. I recommend shift lock. So this whole entire place. And then you want to jump off of here. And then jump over here. Now, say that you fell. That's completely okay. Some people would try to climb up and then say it didn't work. I've seen someone do that. So instead you just want to jump on the back. And then you can go back. It just takes a lot of damage. And then you guys can see someone fell there. Yeah, it's because it's abandoned. I wonder why. And then you guys really have to do it hard. It's pretty hard. Because you have to be on an edge. But yeah, that's that one. I'd say it's probably faster. But it's also harder. I only recommend it for obby people. People that love obbies. Why will my character not... Oh, there we go. And then... Let's just do this. Once again, if you have the storm goggles, it won't block the clouds. Really sad. But, whatever. And then, once again, make sure you're hydrated. And then, if you guys get really bad on health, like you're about to die, so you're at like 45 health, then, well, that's not about to die, but still, use the walkie-talkie and click the S. And then, light your flares. And then if they ask you your location, tell them it. But, yeah. And then you guys want to spawn a mobile. Mobile. Snowmobile. And then you guys just want to do this course. You guys don't have to follow the path. I don't. Because it's a tad bit faster if you don't. 
but yeah. And then it says slow down. I I would say slow down if you're mobile. But if you're computer and you're driving with WASD, then yeah, sure. You can hold down W and then you can do it easily. Just like this. But if you can't do that, then go slow. Like on hold W. But yeah. And then that's pretty easy. I fell a lot on mobile, but that's because the controls are terrible. They should just make it so you can use the thumbstick. Yeah. And then you just want to drive. Just go straight. Ignore the pink ones. Unless there's one with a backpack and then you can click on it for another bar and a patch. But yeah. And then also be showing you guys an achievement here. Which... I don't recommend doing if you're trying to speed run or finish because you're gonna die if you do it. Yeah, you're gonna die. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if I did the achievement, but you don't have to do the achievement. It also takes kind of a while to do it. And then you have to leave a reset. I recommend leaving so you can get more health. So once you get here, so once you get here, you want to just swim straight down. And then once you get the bottom, you'll get the badge. And you guys can just swim like this. And yeah. I also recommend full graphics. Ooh, this is a new Roblox panel. Nice. Looks like Roblox updated. That's different. Yeah. And then you guys just want to pull this path and then there's a leopard seal try to get attacked by it if you want an achievement just make sure you have a few bubbles left like four wait no maybe three and make sure you're at the end Then, um, once you reach the end, you can just swim up, and then you're going to be at the new base. And then, like always, you just want to get your stats back up. Yeah. You want to make sure they're over 90 on hydration, if you're not going to drink water, but it doesn't matter. And then you just want to fill up your water bottle, get an energy bar. Get another energy bar, touch the checkpoint. If you guys hear a dolphin, it's my brother trying to be a stupid dolphin that he doesn't even know how to do right, but that's fine. He's really dumb. And if he's watching this, you'll hear him. And yeah, if he's watching this, you're really dumb, mister. I just realized I ran the wrong way. Don't follow me. So once you guys do that, you guys just want to go to this sign. And then it's an avalanche area. If an avalanche is happening, state the tent until you don't see it. But yeah, since my family is talking a lot, I'll just mute this so you don't have to do with it. And if I need to talk, I'll unmute it. Bye-bye. Just follow me. I just realized I forgot to turn on the music. Oopsies. Oopsies. There we go, that's better. Now you just have a faint music playing here. Let me get that up. There we go. Now it should be louder. Okay, bye bye.
some of you guys might fall um on this so if you do i'll just do it so if you guys fall say on this jump it's okay you guys can just bounce back up somehow um, yeah just like that Same thing if you fall here, just go to the end or right there. Because you're not going to be able to jump up here. Just like that. Easy. And then jump up here. You might want to fall up, follow the trail. Don't. And, uh, okay. Just follow me again. Make sure to stay hydrated. Right. 
But we're in reality. I don't really kind of recommend jumping here because you're gonna die. Never jump here. Unless you want to take a lot of damage, but. Able to get up. Mm, he just reset. Yep. You guys want to jump down that ladder? But if you can get down it, I just don't do it because jumping us in here. than one person on it. So, they won't break. Now, here you'll see ice things. Your instant instinct might need to go down there, but you'll realize you won't break. I think. But yeah, just go down here because the hill will get you um, going there. This is why I see a lot of people die. Because they don't do it right, but that's fine. Because you learn from your mistakes, I guess. And then just jump down these. It's really not that hard. Then, yeah, just go down. And then, and then go. Make sure not to fall. And then you'll see the camp right there. If you guys get lost, just look for one of these light rods, these red and white light rod things, because they will guide you, just in case you lose track of where I'm going. But you can also rewind or pause the video. Then if you guys see planes like that, it's just people finishing. Just wanted to point that out if you guys thought it was anything special. And then regenerate everything. I recommend finding a server with a search and rescue if you're at low health. But if you're at low health, you can just leave and rejoin just so you don't lose your life. Which really helps. But I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of time. And you guys. And then this is. Sorry. That was loud. I know it wasn't. So was this. You guys just wanna climb up here? You're done with that, and then this is this is the blast camp, which is nice. And then this has something I want to point out. If you guys are on a low end ice, you might want to go that way, and then you might think that that way is really dumb to go. In. It's not, okay? Because if you go in this way, you have a high chance of falling. See? Because you could fall easily. And that drains a ton of your health. Like a ton. 
So instead what you wanna do is So instead what you wanna do is you guys just wanna go with this path. Now if you really think you're gonna be able to do that and try it, just go to there. Just be where water kills harsh. Just jump on this and then you'll find more spokes. As you guys can see, I'm very close to dying. probably have these on the first camp. Yeah. Um, I'll probably make another video when this video updates. Adding a new camp or an obstacle or something. Yeah. And then, if you have someone with you, don't step on this. Just try to go on this. But if no one's following you, then just walk across. Cause it will melt slowly. It's slow enough for you to be able to get to the other paths. But if someone's with you, you can do it, but that's going to be toxic and rude, but... Yeah. I recommend just getting on these, just so you don't melt it. But it just re re regenerate, so it sticks with it. It doesn't matter what cave you want, I just go through the first or second, because they lead to the same way, plus they're closer, so... Um, we were. This water is the same thing. It kills you fast. Just follow me. Make sure to jump here. If you miss the jump, I don't know what to do because I've never have. But make sure to go on this because if you get in this water, you have a very high chance of dying. But I'm not sure if this works. But jumping. Sometimes save you. And you want to make sure to go up here. Not stay on the edges. Just go here because it'll be way easier. And it will probably get you more help. So. It's good. Purely. It's just a better option. It doesn't matter which hole you go to. They both lead to the same thing. If you fall here, that's perfectly okay. Just jump up. And then. Um. Those holes both lead to the same thing, as you can see, just, but it doesn't matter, just spam jump, and then you won't lose any health. And then here, once again, a lot of people fall, probably because it jump is hard for them. Lag maybe for lower end devices, but just go on pure edge, and then you should fall. And it's only two jumps. Um, nice ladder, run. Cross it. And then you'll see another guy that fell on the right. And then you want to use shift lock just to jump up. Because you have to go this way. Because the game is. <gasps> no, I died. I guess I have to go back. Oh, I'm so sad. I can't redo it all. Like I said, if you die, it's okay. And you don't need any outfits. I mean, you could try to get outfits, but. At the end of the day, it's just a waste of time. Okay, guys, I made a bed. So, just, it's okay if you die. Just make sure you don't do die twice. Because you gotta make sure that you don't lose heart. a lot of hearts. Because if you lose all of your hearts, you get reset. And you have to redo all of it. So, um, yeah. low in HP, you might think that that fire might kill you. It doesn't. I walked in it for five minutes once, so. It doesn't kill you. I, I can see it. 
will kill me. I was in a apartment because I was just AFK. Yeah. Um, three other full coins. Make sure to get all your stats back up. down it. It won't give you damage, or you could just fall down the edge. Just make sure to hug the edge so you don't take damage. If you're trying to get the no damage off. And then just climb up this ladder. If you fall, it's okay. There's a way to get back up. But, and then just like this, you can just jump across. And then you want to go on these ladders. And just like this, we're almost done. And then jump across that edge. Just follow this. And then you see that white thing right there? That white little edge? You just want to jump on the side like this and try to make it there because it's easier. Um, just walk here. Um, the white little edge thing, snow, um, it's very tiny, but you can just jump across it. And then you'll do that. And then boom, we're done. Almost. There's one last thing we have to do, because you guys can see that it all cuts off here. So what you want to do, is you want to go on the edge, and just, you want to jump here. And then you can come down using this ladder. Or you could take damage by just falling there, and then doing the ladders like that. Which is what I've done a lot, but it's fine. And then boom, we're done. We're done, guys. All you guys gotta do now is just fall off this. If you take damage, that's fine. Unless you're trying to do the no damage thing, and then you guys just wanna find a little corner to it. Um, we're close to finish up. Now you guys just wanna walk straight. We did it. And you guys will see two planes. That one is Robux. And by the way, you guys cannot fly the planes, they fly themselves. And it gives me justice to teleport you to the spot so you can read it and get more expeditions. Follow this tutorial as many times as you want. If this helped you, then leave a comment and then I'll probably respond. And then make sure to touch right here. It's green around it, and then you guys will hear a lot of music playing. Here, I'll stop mine. And then just hear the music. And then hop in here. It'll give you a thousand coins, along with um, giving you a badge. But I got a five times badge. You won't get that one. And then you basically just get a flag. But the more you do, the different flower color you have. And just fly on the plane. And then you're good. If you guys have the luxury pack, you guys can fly the jet. I recommend doing it because it's faster, but I'm just going to use the standard. And I'll just skip until I reach the end. Once you guys are done, you'll see a ton of water. And that means you're landing. And that means you're done and you can...
do it all over again. And, um, yeah. Now, a lot of people might want to leave the game so they can skip the plane ride. You can't skip it. It's really sad. So if you're really paranoid that it won't skip because you're leaving, then spend 345 Robux to do it faster. Yeah. You heard me. 345 Robux. It also gives you a 10, though, so... Yeah. And then, you also might think, because it stopped, that it's done, but it isn't. You need to wait for it to bark. I wonder why. Just trying to be realistic. Don't you think? Yeah. And then, once it stops, it will kick you out. And then, it will despawn. And it also will give you... Um, it will also set your life to three, but it will not regenerate your health. So instead, what you can do is you can do this. Bang, boom, bop. And just like that, you leave Roblox. And then you do bop. And then you get your life back. <gasps> Okay, bye-bye. If you guys find this helpful, then please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And also share it to a friend if they're trying to complete the game too. Or watch it with a friend. Yeah, bye-bye. Like and subscribe. And donate in any game. Please donate to mommy.